we are making a title sequence. Right now, I have to think of something cool. Where do I go with this? It's for YouTube, so it can be kind of like fun, fresh. 10 seconds max. It's not a, a one minute long intro that you just want to hit. <laughs> Skip it now. I think I know what style I want to go for. I did some artwork for Sideman already, and it's kind of like the whole drawing on the photograph vibe the whole vibe between them for this for this title sequence is about the battle okay zachariah mills Zach, is that what we're gonna is that what we're going with <laughs> zachariah <laughs> what do you want me to call you sideman sideman oh you don't want no one to know your real name my real name is david yeah it's on your my dog's called dave and people call him david and i get really offended by that i don't know what that has to do with what we're talking about but i respect it Kind of like the way that they just like, they interact with each other on the camera. In my head, when he first told me about the brief, I thought Street Fighter. I thought, right, it's gonna be something like a battle, do you know what I mean? Like, you know the graphics that come on when you play Street Fighter? I've naturally never played Street Fighter, but I have boyfriends that play Street Fighter. Colours wise, when you think of like games and stuff, they are brighter, so I think, I think a limited colour palette. I'm thinking red and blue. Um, I remember those are kind of like David's favourite colours that he wanted to have his bedroom done in one. So I think that kind of be cool and I think they do feel like team colours. Next thing to think about is the movement. So this is like the way that you want to create movement within the title sequence so it's not just... Yeah. So you want things to have motions with your assets, make them move and create scenes, or it's the way that each scene transitions from one to the next so it feels like it's, you know, exciting. The first thing that actually comes to my mind is those Netflix previews happen. Like, you know when you're not watching Netflix for a while and on the screen you get like these really cool animations that come on um, and it's kind of like got this parallax effect on. So you've got like the image in front and the background's kind of moving in the background to move from scene to scene, I do like the idea of zooming forward because that one, that motion is quite slow. So I want to counter that with something quite fast. So <laughs> I almost poked out the camera. Um, and going with that, so I'm going to start storyboarding straight away to be honest and then just bang it out ideas and see how that goes. the final storyboard it's pretty damn rough and i won't be winning any awards for this but it's the whole guide for the project now i won't be talking through step by step what exactly i did on after effects it's three days of my life at the computer and despite my beautiful um dry ass bed hair this process isn't that glamorous at all but for editing i did use after effects for this project which is a keyframing software for moving image and part of the adobe suite but I'll basically just show you the progress of this animation and how it was built to the final design. So we might as well just crack on now. Um. So this is it at its rough point. It's literally just showing a placement and a pace of the elements so that I have an idea of what's in the frame. So it's the first digital representation of the storyboard. But the next part of adding the first layer of the parallax animation I talked about and that transitions between each of the scenes really brings it to life. So you can see here, we've started to add those Netflix style movements to the characters and started to add that zoom transition between the scenes to make the design feel more seamless and less like. So the next stage is creating the illustrations for the characters. I'm using my iPad Air and Apple Pencil 1 because I was too broke to buy the Pro and honestly it works fine and it saves you like maybe 500 quid. I use Procreate to design the illustrations and I'm still pretty new to the software but I feel like if you use the Photoshop or even just digital drawing, it's a great tool. I created the illustrations in three layers of colours for the highlights and shadows and bases and gave it a black overline to give it that cartoon feel. 
So after testing that the illustration works well on the animation, this process is then repeated eight more times with way too many snacks for each of the photographs. So again, moving on swiftly. One day later. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention at this point that this is where I designed the floating element bits. And at this point, this is where the animation has got to now. I added in this cool colour changing element to make it feel like you were selecting the character's clothes and that the character was being selected for battle. But let me just shut up so that you can watch the final animation with the sound. And that's the final video! I really love the way this came out. I had such a great time designing it as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this journey too. For those who don't know me, I'm Laura, aka Melius, and I'm a creative designer day to day. And I'm putting out videos all about interior design, entrepreneurship, design, and my life, including a room makeover with Simon all day. When you're walking, you don't walk like a mile in that, but you do enter the room and you can kind of close the door if you like squeeze off in that. You know what I'm saying? My bathroom makeover and my solo trip to Malaga. You can check out my latest video all about how I work from home and my office setup and how I designed it to work productively from home. So make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel to check that out in the future. But until then, bye!